Since 2004, MarkBots, or multi-function agile remote control robots, have been helping soldiers look for improvised explosive devices in Iraq and Afghanistan. The robot was first developed for the Defense Department's Rapid Equipping Force by Exponent Incorporated. Meanwhile, researchers at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, were busy working on systems that could enhance exploration capabilities for future missions on the surface of the moon. But the engineers at Marshall needed a simple and inexpensive mobile platform to test their communications platforms here on Earth. Because our, our sensors were designed to be mounted on mobility systems and we didn't own any, we bought a couple of MarkBot robots uh, from the Army locally, the, the Robotic Systems Joint Program Office. NASA and the Army have similar needs in robotic systems, things like secure communications and precise navigation capability. The Army agreed to help fund NASA with further development of the MarkBot robotic platform in ways that would benefit both astronauts in the future and the soldiers of today. The potential good that the agency can uh, derive from that early exposure to those requirements will save us as an agency a lot of money down the road. And at the same time, the Army benefits because we do have significant uh, technology that we can bring to bear on their problems too. With assistance from the not-for-profit Von Braun Center for Science and Innovation, NASA partnered with several organizations to enhance the robots. The Schaefer Corporation worked with NASA engineers to replace the original MarkBot's RF joystick controller with a more secure Wi-Fi control system that could be operated with a mouse or an Xbox-type controller and a laptop computer. The MarkBot also used a conventional video transmission frequency to send images back to the human operator so that the operator would run the robot up to a suspicious device and look at the video coming back. Uh, for our purposes, we, we eliminated the two separate links. Everything became 802.11, and we replaced the analog cameras with digital cameras. NASA also added GPS location capability to the robots and implemented a Google Earth type of display called Falcon View. This display makes it easy to see where all the robots on a network are located, along with hazards the robots might need to avoid. Navigation for either a single robot or multiple robots can be autonomous or controlled manually by an operator. You can see all the robots, you can click in on any one of the robots and view the video and control that robot. So we saw this as a, a prototype of the way that a future uh, communications network might actually function uh, if you were operating robots on the moon or somewhere else. The Army liked what they saw in the NASA upgrades and asked the agency to work with tribally owned company Applied Geotechnologies to include the design changes on future MarkBot models. The company, which is located in Choctaw, Mississippi, is also supplying upgrade kits for hundreds of MarkBots that are already deployed around the world. We had a lot of interaction with the Army and uh, got a lot of good feedback and I think the end result is not only did we learn a lot but the Army wound up with a much better system than if we hadn't had that close collaboration.